What's up guys, it's Friday, May 22nd, let's talk PlayStation. I want to start this episode off by- oh yeah, my, I'm using the- I'm recording some PS3 stuff, so that's why the PS3's on in the background. Um, anyway, I want to start this one off with some, uh, kind of, more than likely, like, bullshit. Uh, so this one Reddit post came up past few days ago by user Luke Pre, L-U-K-P-R-E, I think, uh, posting a little picture of what could possibly be a rumor. Oh, God, Crash Bandicoot returned to PlayStation. There's a nice little picture. It says, he will rise again. Shows Crash Bandicoot. Bottom right, you see that, oh, it's uh, by Naughty Dog, PS PS4, and Vita. It's one of those images where it's like, this is more, this is like 99% fake. It's, it's got to be fake. Um, but it's always, uh, you know, it comes up every so often on Let's Talk PlayStation. Every few months we get a nice little rumor about Crash Bandicoot and his possible return. Um, you know, we always talk about this. Uh, I always tell you guys, like, I'm more than certain Sony has tried to buy, you know, get the rights to Crash Bandicoot. I'm more than certain they've talked to Activision. I'm more than certain that Activision maybe is asking too high of a price tag or something. Uh, but it's all, you know, this picture's like, you, you know, you gotta look at it and you figure, okay, well, the, that outline is already a current existing imagery of Crash Bandicoot. Um, you know, PS4 and Vita, like, I don't, who knows if that, like, would even be the case. Uh, Naughty Dog, we all know Naughty Dog's pretty busy as it is, so would they even have time to do a Crash Bandicoot game? And, of course, just one of those images where it's like, oh, it's taken with a shitty camera, and it's, like, all off-screen. It's like, oh, this is probably completely fake. And it probably is completely fake. Uh... On the flip side, even though it is fake, you always have that thing in the back of your mind where you're like, oh, this would be so awesome to finally see a return of Crash Bandicoot. It would be awesome to have it on Vita or something. Cross-play, cross-buy. Naughty Dog goes back to it, even though they necessarily don't want to. Um, which, you know, a lot of people at Naughty Dog have voiced their opinion saying that they don't want to return to a, a cartoony game like Crash Bandicoot. They like the more mature games. Um, there was one one interview by uh, an employee at Naughty Dog that said that they would like to do Crash Bandicoot, but a majority of the studio does uh, enjoy the fact that they are doing with they're, they're going uh, they're doing more mature games. So again, we we always talk about Crash Bandicoot. I, I don't think it's gonna happen, not anytime soon at least. Now on to some more believable news stories. Uh, it's still basically a rumor, but this is definitely coming from a more uh, from a more credible source. Industry insider Shinobi602, who has a pretty good track record, so that's why we're discussing him here, uh, discussed uh, Guerrilla Games, the Sony, Sony first party developer, that their game is going to be released in 2016. So basically, uh, he said that uh, early earlier this year, in 2015, they have already had some pretty early testing stages for the game, and it's likely on track to release in 2016, which means we'll probably see it very, very soon, possibly at E3, possibly at the next PlayStation experience. I don't know. But we will certainly see the game soon. Uh, that's at least what he's saying. He also discussed that Sony's, Sony Ben's game is going to be slightly like a survival horror kind of game, and that's coming along too as well. Didn't really give us a whole lot of details. That's how these industry insiders always do us, uh, but we'll have to just wait and see. So one big news story that came up this past week is Project Morpheus. A lot of stuff going on about Project Morpheus. So one Japanese new newspaper, Asahi, uh, is reporting that Sony is going to be launching PlayStation Morpheus before June 2016. So the, the first thing we heard about uh, Morpheus release date was that it would be released at least within the first half of 2016, June 2016. Before then, at least, is what we're hearing, so that pretty much falls in line there. Uh, the big news is that Sony has actually opened a new developer complete de a new development studio completely for project morpheus games so we found out about this by some job listings on the sony uk playstation site and the actual studio is called northwest england so they're going to be based in england uh and yeah they're looking for some great talent they're looking for people to finally join a, 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 de a development team strictly based on morpheus and you know the job listing says the the usual um you know preachy sort of stuff we're looking for uh strong individuals that have a vast knowledge in the industry uh, a lot of you know a big repertoire in the resume we're looking for you to you know help us push uh, vir virtual reality forward and be a pivotal moment in gaming and to kind of take us into a new direction and everything uh, and this is pretty big news i mean this is a com completely new developer under sony worldwide studios we always talk about how sony has the most developers that means uh, they have a lot of exclusive games we can always expect they're gonna they're gonna have a lot of exclusive games and this is a completely new developer solely creating project morpheus games and they need that. You know, you can't release uh, a, a pretty pricey peripheral for a console and expect it to not have, you know, and expect only third parties to develop games for it. You also have to support your own hardware, your own peripherals, uh, and that's definitely going to be the case with Morpheus. It seems like Sony is very uh, committed to, to Morpheus, but we've seen that before already. We know they're very committed, and this is just a 
just kind of solidifying that really. So that's it in terms of really like Sony specific news this past week. Um, of course, there's all sorts of other third party news stories like, you know, the new Need for Speed reboot, which I hope is more in veins of uh, Need for Speed Underground because that'll make me super happy. Uh, but we can end on uh, E3. E3 is coming up very, very soon, um, just a few weeks. Uh, and the one news story this past week is that much like last year, Sony's going to be showing their E3 press conference in movie theaters. And this time around, it actually looks like they're gonna be uh, in more locations. In fact, they've said that they're gonna be in every single US state, including Hawaii and Alaska, and also three cities in Canada. So that'll be actually going live soon where you can get free tickets. They are giving away free tickets to go to a movie theater and watch the E3 press conference. There'll be some goodies there, uh, much like last year. Last year, I think people got um, uh, the Destiny Alpha and they also got access to the Battlefield Hardline beta. Uh, so there'll probably be some goodies there and you can just go get some free tickets. I'm probably listing the date right there or something for when this is actually gonna go live on their site where you can go and request free tickets. Uh, but yeah, so Sony's conference is actually June 15th. Uh, and then there's actually, I'll show you a really handy chart uh, by one NeoGAF user. Um, let me see his name right here. Cheesemeister 3 k on NeoGAF made an awesome little uh, you know, timestamp right here with all the different um, time zones and uh, example cities and of course all the conferences. E3 is going to be pretty big this year considering we got Bethesda, uh, usually you know, Microsoft, EA, and Sony. Uh, Nintendo will be doing their you know, direct stuff. Uh, also got Square Enix there this year. So there's going to be a lot of uh, pretty crazy, exciting stuff. And like always, uh, if you've been around with this channel for a while, I'll be doing like coverage videos. I'll you know do a whole video covering Sony's conference and what I thought of it and whatnot. Um, you know, we'll do all that stuff. So those are just some of the news stories I want to talk about with you all uh, this week. Actually, the, the really interesting thing that I don't want to get too excited about is I might possibly get to go to E3 this year, which would be pretty fucking awesome because I've never actually been to an E3. Uh, I'm not totally sure yet, though. I got to see if I can actually get the time off from work and then get my flight and like all my lodging taken, taken care of and whatnot. So I'm not 100% sure just yet. I'm thinking it might I might not be able to go because my work is pretty strict with time off, especially on such short notice. I didn't plan this ahead of time really, which is kind of my fault, but the opportunity to go kind of just sprang up on me. So I'm not sure if I'll actually get to go. If I do end up going, then obviously I'm not gonna be able to do my videos like I normally do, because I'll actually be there this time. So I would uh, try and film some stuff actually on location. Um, which I've never actually done before, so it probably wouldn't be entirely easy for me. I usually, you know, edit my videos on my desktop, which is pretty powerful. And I don't have a pretty decent laptop to go edit and stuff on site throughout the day of E3. So if I do go to E3, then I'll have to like record everything there, come back home, and then get all my videos up. And by that time, they're kind of not even, I don't know, relevant. So I really am not really prepared for this at all, to be quite frank with you. But it would be an awesome experience for me personally. But I do have a YouTube channel, so I try and provide content on here. Speaking of content, uh, check out this week's episode of Ryan on Gaming. Does nostalgia blind people's opinions? Uh, we all have first loves. We all grow up with certain things, but really, does that kind of get in the way of you know some objective things about you know certain games? Like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't want to explain all of it here. Just go click that video and check it out if you want to see that discussion. Hey, it's a pretty good discussion. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. I get, I do, I get into a Pokemon rant because obviously the uh, imagery is featuring first gen Pokemon compared to. Uh, fifth, fifth and sixth gen Pokemon, which, by the way, I, you, you all know this. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Y'all don't need to know this. I, I mean, I don't know if my, no, I don't think the posters are actually. No, I got like seven Pokemon posters over there, and then the GTA, GTA ones are over here. Um, and then check out next week's episode of Rana Gaming. I don't know what it'll, what it'll uh, be just yet. Um, also, I'll be probably doing like a channel. I don't know, relaunch soon. I guess I don't know. I made like a new banner. I'll, I'm gonna start using some new music and. I'm gonna try and do some new videos now that the order let's plays over, which I know that thing took forever to upload and I only uploaded it once a week and like nobody watched it. I know that was like kind of a poor decision on my part, but I'm trying to make this channel a little more awesome. So actually, if you'd like, uh, give, give me some feedback. You know, what do you wanna watch? What do you wanna see more of? Um, I really wanna try and focus more on this. I, I love doing this, I do. I love you. And now, quite frankly, I've made everything a little bit just weird and you're feeling a little uncomfortable and I understand that, but I'm just letting you know, I do love you. That concludes this week's episode of Let's Talk PlayStation. I'm Ryan Benecki. Thank you so much for talking with me. I'll see you guys next Friday.